In this figure, we have a semicircle and the radius is 6 units. In this figure, the arcs AB, BC and CD have equal lengths and we have to find the area of this blue region. To find this area, we will start by connecting the points OB and OC. Then, once these points are connected, then here at the center we have three angles each measuring 30 degrees. And these angles are equal because they cut off equal arcs. Then assuming that AO is perpendicular to OD, then 90 degrees divided by 3 is 30 degrees. Now in this figure I will shade two more regions, this one and this one. And now to find the area of this blue region I will take the following approach. First, I will find the area of the entire shaded region that consists of the triangle OFC and the sector COB. Then I will subtract the area of the triangle OEB. Then, once I subtract the area of this triangle, I will be left with the area of the blue region. So then, let's start by finding the area of the triangle OFC. To find this area, we need to know the base and the height. So far, we know that the hypotenuse of this triangle is 6 units because this is also the radius of the circle. We also know that this angle measures 30 degrees. To find the base and the height, we will use trigonometric functions. For example, Cosine of 30 degrees equals the adjacent side OF divided by the hypotenuse OC. I will write this below. Cosine of 30 degrees equals OF divided by OC. Then I will replace OC with 6 and I will have cosine of 30 degrees equals OF divided by 6. To find OF, I will multiply the left side by 6 and the right side by 6, then on the right side 6 and 6 will cancel. Then OF equals 6 multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees, which is square root of 3 over 2, and then 6 divided by 2 is 3, and OF will be equal to 3 square root of 3. So we found the base of the triangle and it is 3 square root of 3. Now sine of 30 degrees equals the opposite side CF divided by the hypotenuse OC. I will write this below. Sine of 30 degrees equals CF divided by OC. Again, I will replace OC with 6 and I will have sine of 30 degrees equals CF over 6. And again, I will multiply both sides by 6 and on the right side 6 and 6 will cancel. Then CF equals 6 multiplied by sine of 30 degrees which is 1 half and 6 times 1 half is 3. So we just found the height of this triangle and the height is 3. And now to find the area of this triangle, we will use the formula 1 half times base times height. Then the area of this triangle will be 1 half times 3 square root of 3 and times 3. All this equals 9 over 2 square root of 3. So this is the area of the triangle OFC. Next we need to find the area of the sector COB. The formula for the area of a sector is the angle theta over 360 degrees multiplied by the area of the circle pi r squared. In this formula theta is 30 degrees because this is the angle formed and the radius is 6 units. Then the area will be 30 degrees 
over 360 degrees multiplied by pi times 6 squared. Then in this fraction, the degree symbols will cancel, and if we divide the numerator and the denominator by 30, we will get 1 over 12 times pi, and 6 squared is 36. Then 36 divided by 12 is 3, and the area of the sector will be 3 pi. So now if we add these areas together, we will get the area of the shaded region. Next, we need to find the area of the triangle OBE. And notice that this triangle has the same dimensions as the triangle OFC. Each of them has the hypotenuse of 6 units, and in the triangle OFC, one angle is 30 degrees and the other one is 60 degrees, and in the triangle OBE, one angle is 30 degrees and the other one is 60 degrees. So then, the side OE is equal to the side CF and the side BE is equal to the side OF. Then the area of this triangle will be the same as the area of the triangle OFC. And we will write that A equals 9 over 2 square root of 3. And now to find the area of the blue region, we will add these two areas together and we will subtract the area of the triangle OBE. So we will write 9 over 2 square root of 3 plus 3 pi minus 9 over 2 square root of 3. Then these two will cancel and the area of the blue region will be 3 pi. I hope you liked this solution. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching.